Hey guys and welcome to a completely new video tutorial series. In these videos I will introduce you to the concepts and functionalities of the Ventus Director that we have introduced in Ventus 4. I will show you the basics of the Director as well as give hints to use the Director to its full potential. In this video I will start by giving you a rough overview of the concepts of the Director and shortly give examples for very basic actions in the Director show. Basically you can see the director as a control software which is mainly used in broadcast shows but is capable of several other use cases as well, like running a non-stage presentation or managing several information screens in a large building. It will never render something itself but only give commands for the Ventus runtimes it is connected to. This way you are not only able to run a show on the same machine you are producing on but also give commands to remote control production machines. You save performance on your production machine and you can also remote control machine clusters. All in all you can see the Ventus products as these graphics illustrate. The designers used to create all kinds of presentations, be it an interactive scene for an event, an on-stage show or a control program on broadcast. The runtime is the playout device and is only capable of interpreting Ventus scenes and showing them on screen. You can give it a presentation to play or open a project and control it via the Ventus Director. Contrary to most control software, the Director works with templates. Templates simply are graphics that are not completely filled with values. For example a bar chart, whose look and feel was already defined in the Ventus Designer, but the exact values for the different bars were not defined yet. So the designer of the show can create the chart beforehand without knowing what exactly will happen when the show is running. For example the results of elections. It just defines which values of his graphics must be entered during showtime. When queuing a template in the director later on, the operator must input these values and can then play it out. But enough for the theoretical part, let's now jump into the software. This is the start screen of the director. Here you can see the last three shows you were running and start them again. Also you can choose to browse for another saved show, open the user manual or create a completely new show. When choosing the last option you will see a dialog where you can choose from recently open project or browse for a new one. Choose a project and the director creates a show based on that project. When ready you can see the show layout of the director. Mainly it consists of several windows that help you queuing and taking templates. Fill them with values or browse the machine for assets. In the middle of the screen you see your preview and program windows where you get a feedback to the show you are currently running. Let's take a short look at how to handle templates. Take a template from the left window and drag and drop it to the right property window. Alternatively you can just double click the template. Now the template is queued and you can see which values can be defined in the property window. While queued the template will be shown in the preview window. Change the values the way you need to have them and then either press F1 on your keyboard or click the play button in the property window or below the preview window. Now the director sends the according commands to all connected runtimes and they will play in the wanted template. You can see that either in the program view of the director or by opening the runtime which is currently running in the background on your machine. Lastly let us glimpse into the user interface. You already saw the preview and program window, the property window and the templates list. There are windows which enable you to drive the show in different ways than always dragging the template to the property window, change the values, then run the show. You may instead save the values you want to have in a specific template by creating a page. Also it is possible to use the timeline to queue templates or pages and play them one after another. Instead you can also use the playlist, which is very useful when you need an automated or even looping playout of the templates. With these tools you will be able to run a show in a very comfortable way. We will have a closer look at all these later in the series, but now you have an idea of what you can use the director for and how to start a show. Next time I will talk about director shows and what the differences from Ventus projects are, how to set up the window layout and embed settings for later use on different machines. So stay tuned, I'll see you in our next videos.